Hey guys, I um, was talking with a homeowner the other day and also another agent and one thing they came to realize is the understanding of the new NAR rules that have changed and just understand that, you know, again, this is for all the homeowners out there. There's been two changes in our world as real estate agents recently. One is the compensation that we uh, pay to a buyer's agent, an agent that brings the buyer we can no longer publish that in the multiple listing service. So we're typically before in the MLS, when an agent would be able to pull that up, you could see, okay, if I have a buyer, what does the seller's agent or seller going to pay us, right, in the commission? You know, as far as an incentive to bring buyers to it and what's the compensation it was published there. And no longer can be published there. So now what do we do? Well, what we've done is we put it on our website, you know, basically the quintongroup.com slash buyer, uh, buyer compensation, right? websites, so forth. And we had communicate to the agents showing our listings uh, and let them know because everyone's inquiring, hey, what's the seller paying us right now regarding buyer's uh, commission? So that's number one. Number two, the second part of all this is very simple. It just sim simply just says that uh, they want to decouple the commissions, meaning that, uh, and it's, never, it's always been this way, you know, before the listing agent would share the commission with the buyer's broker. That still can happen and it always has. And by the way, it's always been negotiable. But I wanna, here's what I want you to understand. Here's the point. Buyers have always actually paid the commission. I want you to understand this. Now, physically and technically, the sellers actually direct it and pay it, but the buyers have always paid the commission. Meaning, if a home is listed for sale for $600,000, okay? Well, guess what? Where does the money come from? In other words, unless the seller is paying their agent up front, which has never happened, they don't, they're not gonna say, hey, I'm gonna give you a 6% commission up front before you do the work. Sellers don't do that. So where's the where does the money come from? Well, the buyer looks at the home and says, okay, I'm paying 600,000. They're gonna give the seller $600,000. And of that $600,000 that's coming from the buyer, they're then, the seller takes a portion of that, whatever they worked out with their agent, and paying their agent and the buyer's broker, the agent's commission, both sides of the deal. So the money actually is always, always came from the buyer. The buyer's actually always paid for it. And then part of that money where it came from then goes back from the seller. Now, that's not, that hasn't changed, understand that. The seller's always gonna look at their net, right? What are they gonna walk away with after their fees, okay? What's the commission involved and what's their net? Unless the seller nets what they're looking for in their pocket, unless they, they get to a place where they feel good about what they're walking away with, they're never gonna sell their home. An agent will never earn a commission, get paid their fee, unless the seller nets the number they're looking for. So I was talking to an owner the other day, well, we don't wanna pay you know, the buyer's agent. Okay, well, you may not wanna physically pay the buyer's agent, but let me tell you, then ultimately the buyer's just not gonna pay your price. You may feel like you're getting over by not paying the other side, but ultimately they're just not gonna pay the number that they normally would have paid that they normally have paid before, if they've gotta pay their agent. And if you don't have a buyer's commission or compensation being offered, in our world, incentives is what drives salespeople. Incentives drives the economy. If there's no incentive for a buyer's broker or buyer's agent to show your home because you're not willing to pay them, right, out of the out of the commission, actually out of the money that they actually already bring, then why would an agent want to show your home if there's no incentive there? So if an agent's going to go show five homes this weekend, and of the five, four are paying an incentive for buyer's brokers to bring their buyers, which are going to bring the money to pay the commission anyway, based upon the sales price, it's all inflated in part of the number. And if your home's sitting there of the four, one is, has no compensation, that means the buyer has to go in their pocket, they're just gonna simply still buy your home, but they're gonna deduct the value or the price they were typically gonna pay anyway, and then you're only gonna pay one side. They'll pay their agent, but they're not gonna pay you your number. That's number one, even if that's if a buyer actually looks at it. But without an incentive, you're not gonna get multiple offers and multiple agents are getting excited. See, agents can't control what the buyers actually see. However, they can influence what the buyers see, right? They can influence the homes that are on the market. And why not be the seller that actually has an incentive and pay an agent or agents to incentivize them to bring as many buyers as possible, get them excited, and therefore get buyers that maybe compete for your property, get you multiple offers, and all of a sudden you're getting a much higher price than you ever would have before, better terms, and in addition, all said and done with the incentive, a higher net. So hopefully this makes sense, okay? Because I was speaking to this agent the other day and he was like, oh my gosh, I never thought of it that way. Spoke to a seller. Okay, that makes sense. And so I thought maybe I'd just share this video with you real quick because uh, just explain it a little bit more that way. So anyway, if we can help you in any way, again, reach out to us. It's Jeff Quinton here from the Quinton Group, 609-398-5333. Thanks for watching.